I've lived in the Pine Barrens since 1964. Back in, I guess, the summer of 1966, uh, I was driving in a car with my mother heading down Jackson Mills Road, and something I've never seen before jumped in front of the vehicle, and uh, my mom kind of slurved on the brakes a little bit and then swerved. We went around it, and this was something that I've, I've never seen, maybe six and a half, seven feet tall. It just uh, kind of had its mouth open, and his arms up in the air, kind of jumping up and down, um, very dark in color, kind of hairy looking. Um, it actually looked like it had some sort of uh, wings or uh, a very uh, different kind of a look, something I've, I've never seen before. I've uh, drawn uh, out of recall uh, a picture of what I've seen. This is what uh, I've drawn, um, and to my best of my knowledge, this is what I've seen. And I've never seen it before, and I've never seen it since. But it sure was strange. Pine Barrens. It's a dark woods with old secrets. Twenty years ago, I found out the darkest secret of all. Tonight, Pursuit of the Unknown investigates the legend of the Jersey Devil. We'll explore the myths and realities revolving around strange occurrences and numerous sightings of a mysterious and deadly beast. Roaming an area of southern New Jersey known as the Pine Barrens, reports of the supernatural creature date back more than 200 years to the American Revolution. Locals claim the creature still haunts these woods today. One of many stories states that during the Revolutionary War, a British major captured and hanged a Lenape Indian called Matangwa. Feared by the British, Matangwa was the 13th child born to the tribe's shaman or spiritual leader. Legend has it that Matangwa possessed great supernatural powers, including the ability to change into animal form, or as it's commonly known, to shapeshift. Did anyone ever tell? A 13 is an unlucky number. As the story goes, the hanging corpse of Matangwa transformed into a grotesque monster. The British major was his first victim. Avenging his death, Matangwa mutilated the officer. His headless body was later discovered by the British Army. Hundreds of cases telling of gruesome decapitation and mutilation murder have been recorded in the region over the last 200 years. In each case, the head of the victim was brutally severed from the body. The Jersey Devil. They don't know nothing about the Jersey Devil. We're interested in the mystery. Is the Jersey Devil real, or is this a hoax? Recent murders may provide some clues. Convicted murderer Chaz Turpin recently made a daring prison escape from Jackson Penitentiary, leaving one guard dead. 
Tanya Vitulo, Turkle's girlfriend, is said to have aided him in his escape. Turkle and Vitulo may very well have made good on their plans, but three days later, their mutilated bodies were found on the shore of the Shroudspot River, deep in the pine barrens. Believe me anyway. I've seen it. I'm an eyewitness. Mr. Riley, get back to your seat. Uh, you're all a bunch of fools. They can't stop hunting me. They can't. They won't. Nothing can stop them. Not even these wolves. They're gonna get you. And your fur-faced friend. Mr. Riley, you have to settle down. Yeah! Don't they know no more people are gonna die? Hmm? Yeah. The Indians took scalps. The devil takes heads. Here, take it back, you little ninny. <laughs> hey, 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 come on now. Come on, don't do that. Come, come on, Riley. What's hey, Mr. Hey, hey, Riley, come you'll on. have to I'm the only one who knows. Only a TV show. What do you got against TV shows? Come on. I'm the only... Yeah. What's wrong with you? I'm the only one who knows what went on. Damn it. Somebody's got to believe me. Please. Well, yeah, we believe you. Yeah. Oh. A shape-shifting giant devil? Hey, who wouldn't believe you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Where are you going? I thought you what? wanted to take a shot. I didn't know everybody's going to die. You're all going to die. Sit down. No. Absolutely not. Arrest him. Look, whatever it is, I didn't do it. <laughs> but you know someone who did, right? I've got something. Who needs your talent? Oh, which talent might that be? An escaped convict. Out of Atlanta County Detention Center got himself murdered down in the Pine Barrens. We think. I've told them not to touch anything until you get there. You think either he was murdered or he wasn't. What is there to think about? No, he was murdered. He was mutilated. He was torn apart. Looked like he'd been chainsawed. Sounds nice and messy. Take a look, I think you'll find one of your prime suspects.
The Jersey Devil? Come on, you, you can't be serious. I've been hearing stories about the Jersey Devil since I was a kid. Some very respected people would actually swear that they saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure these same very respected people will also swear that they've seen the abominable snowman. These are not kooks that we're talking about, Tatum. They're anthropologists, archaeologists. I mean, hell, some of them have even documented in the American Journal of Anthropology examples of shape-shifting that they've witnessed in certain Indian tribes. Not now. Shape-shifting? The ability of a man to take on the physical characteristics of an animal. Look, I am not asking you to believe anything, all right? I just want you to keep an open mind. Let's suppose that what you're saying is true and, and that this thing that we're looking for is some kind of shapeshifter, okay? A according to this, what well, were this guy that we're looking for? Oh, what's his name? Otongwa. The 13th child of the shaman of the Leni Lenape. Matongwa. Now there's a name to conjure by if I ever heard one. You actually believe this is real, don't you? Let's just take this somewhere private, all right? Okay, here we go, but you cannot repeat a word of what I am about to say to anyone. Do you understand? Not a word. I'm serious, Tatum. It's hard enough for a woman to break the glass ceiling. What I'm about to tell you, I could lose my job. Are we perfectly clear? Perfectly. Ever heard of a cop called Riley? Smart cop. Good family man. Been on the force for 19 years. Never a problem, none to speak of anyway. Until the devil got hold of him. Hi, Murph. I'm glad I saw you come in here. I've got to talk to you about this proposed insurance bill. Five minutes, okay, five minutes. My office, this is important. So is this. Very important. My dad worked with Riley. Said he never met anyone who was so obsessed with anything in his whole life. I mean, he told everyone he met the Jersey Devil was real, spent days and days hunting it. Finally, my dad, I mean, even he thought, this guy is wacko. But he didn't give up on him. One day, he said, come on, Riley. I'll help you find the thing. I'll give you a week. One week, and if we come up with nothing by then, you got to promise me you're going to give it up. We'll find a new partner. So off they went. Three weeks later, a search party found Riley, completely out of his mind, raving like a lunatic about a beast. I never did find my dad. Jeez, Murphy, that's quite a story. I, I don't know what to say. You actually believe that the devil killed your father? It doesn't matter what I believe. What matters is what you can prove.
Lights up. Whether the weird, unnatural noises being reported from the woods near McGuire Air Force Base each night. What's the government up to this time? What are they hiding from us? Give us a call here at KDEV. Tell us what you think. Go ahead, Roger from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Government. Oh, it's another conspiracy, Jeff. You know, another government cover-up, like Area 51 and aliens and Bigfoot. Now, how do you know that, Roger? Have you seen alien monsters? We got a monster right here, all right, but it ain't no alien. It lives in those woods. Oh, it kills in those woods. I'll bet you it already killed that escaped convict. You know what it is? It's Jersey the Jer Devil. Is that what you think, Roger? Everyone I know believes the Jersey Devil is a myth. Bull. It's a legend, probably a hoax. Well, that might be what some people think. But I'm telling you, nobody should go into those woods alone. And nobody should ever go into the Pine Barrens at night, Jeff. Nobody! <laughs> Thanks for the call, Roger, from Atlantic City. Nobody well, should go in there. People think they know what's in there, but they... It's nice to know the Jersey Devil is alive and well. <laughs> Give us a call here at KDEV and tell us what you think is out there in those scary woods. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you late-breaking news. Only 10 miles from Atlantic City, near the town of Shroudsburg, investigators found an unidentified body. Unnamed sources indicate that the body... <laughs> I should never have sent that girl. Huh? Yeah. Mr. Roddy, the meds will help. Don't 
protect. I need that. That's mine. Don't take that. Please. You'll be out like a light in no time. So close to finding out their secret. <laughs> they should never have sent the girl. Of Atlantic City, the hot spot on your FM dial. Today's Pineland weather, partly sunny and 60 degrees. Tonight, showers, then clearing. In local news, the search continues for escaped convict Chaz Turkle, still presumed to be hiding out in the Pine Barrens wilderness. Last week, Turkle broke out of Atlantic County detention. Could you help me? I think I'm lost. I wish you'd get the hell out of here. What? I'm looking for my rattlesnake lady. He's big and he's ornery. Oh. Uh, take your time. Now, where is it you said you wanted to go? Shroudsbog River. can't pass that tape. Excuse me. Catherine. Well, so you know this woman? Yeah, you could say that. Nice outfit. Oh, thank you, darling. I figured I'd give Ranger Ron here a little lesson in style because he doesn't have any. I couldn't agree with you more. Well, since you two are hitting it off so well, Catherine Tatum, Mitch Morgan. Yes, that's uh, M&M to all my friends. Oh, no way, because all my friends call me Lil' Kim. <laughs> Catherine's here, a special <laughs> investigator with the Attorney General's office. And the NYPD has been gracious enough to lend us Mr. Morgan here for the next six months. Oh, NYPD, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, New York's finest, though. Mm hmm So, who do we have here? Uh, or should I say what? Well, white male, we think. Probably 20 to 50 years old. Possibly five to seven feet tall. Oh, you're a big help. Yeah, well, I would have added 110 to 200 pounds, but as you can see, the animals got to him first, Kate. Well, there's definitely some indication of tattooing here. That's consistent with our guy, Chaz Turkle. Chaz Turkle, now who might that be? He's an escaped convict. He's the reason I was sent down here. 
How about you? I was in Central Park, and uh, the big brass decided to send me out here to learn the ways of Mother Nature. So now I'm here stuck in the woods with you guys. Well, you learning anything? Well, it's not really that different from New York. You got your West Nile virus, you got Lyme disease, rabies, you've got murder. All type. He exaggerates, Kate. <laughs> Exaggerate my ass. And I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. If everybody calls you little Kim, why does he call you Kate? Oh, that's easy. Because I let him. So you guys know each other for a long time? You mean Ron hasn't talked to you all about it yet? No, he hasn't. Ron is real secretive. Uh-huh. And tacky. Oh, tacky now. What the hell is that? What? Oh, it looks like some sort of claw. Well, you said before that it looked like maybe the animals got to him. Could it be bears? Not likely. So what is it, then? Uh, something that size, probably a T-Rex. He says I exaggerate. All right, let's go ahead and bag it up. I've never seen anything like that. Remember the woods. That night, 20 years ago. You took them. You took them. Soon. Very soon. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody. You have them. No. They took them. The bones. No, they took them. I told no one. I told no one. I will protect my secret at any cost. Soon. 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 So, you've never seen anything like that claw before? No, I mean, my best guess would be it's a talon, but I'll tell you right now, there's nothing living that has anything like that. So, who are we seeing? Mr. Shroud. This uh, strange, weird guy you mentioned? <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's a little difficult to describe. Mm. He's Strange. Brilliant, but strange. Well, strange how? Uh, very. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an herb garden. He planted all poisonous plants in. I mean, deadly. I told him, I said, look, anybody accidentally eats any of those, it's, your ass is liable.
Mr. Shroud? Well, he's got to be here somewhere. He never leaves this place. Yeah. Hey, thanks. I'll go check over there. I'll check that out down there. OK. Let's meet back here in about 15 minutes, all right? Mr. Shroud? Mr. Shroud? Hello? Mr. Shroud, you up there? Mr. Shroud? So, guess nobody found him? I don't think Mr. Shroud is anywhere around. Maybe he went to go play bingo. Oh, very funny. <laughs> well, we need to get back to the crime scene before the divers arrive, so. All right, uh, listen, you guys go ahead. I'm gonna look around a little more, okay? Catch up with you later. Can't get enough, huh? That's what they say. You know, Ron, I have to tell you, I really like the idea of a white man dropping me around. <laughs> Cornrows or dreadlocks? What you want, man? Let me out. Let me out. They're here. They're gonna kill me. Please, come on now. Understand, I gotta get out of here. Come on! There's nobody in there. There is somebody in here. No, there's nobody in there, man. Please. That... Hey, listen. You need to get some sleep. Take it easy. Come on! I don't need any sleep, man. I gotta get out of here. Well, what the hell's wrong with you? What are you talking about? What happened to you? What are you talking about? 
You used to be a role model for all the black police officers on the force. Don't start that garbage anymore. Get out. Get out. Did you kill Murphy? No. Well, what happened then? I remember very well what happened. Murphy was my partner. We were searching for the Jersey Devil. It was a full moon. We got lost. We got separated, you know. I heard Murphy cry out, no, 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 then a shot, one single shot. I ran looking for him. There was blood everywhere. Then his body, it took his head, man. I ran, I was scared. I fell. I fell. I found them. The Indian moans, man. Then I looked up into the face of the devil. It was him. Have you seen my friend Bruno? It was him, the Jersey Devil, man. You gotta believe me. Jersey Devil? <laughs> now you expect me to believe that. Jonesy. You got the bones, the bones of the Indian ancestors, the ancients, man. Go look at them, man. Go look. They glow. Yeah, yeah. It's what stops it, man. That's his secret. Glow bones. They I got don't the have power. To... Hey, I don't got to look at no bones, Riley. I got to go back to work, all right? I can't stay here all day fooling around with you, no. I got to go. You gotta believe me, Jones. You gotta give him back, man. It's in here. It's in here now. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I got to go. No, Jonesy, Jonesy, come back, man. Come back. Jones. 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 <laughs> Nobody knows. I will protect my secret at any cost. Nobody knows your secret except me. At any cost. Anyone home?
guess. Mr. Shroud? Yes? I apologize for the intrusion. Uh, I'm from the state attorney general's office. I'm here investigating a number of homicides in the area. I read your card, Miss Tatum. I presume that you're aware of the situation? Presume. Interesting word. <laughs> to take upon oneself without warrant or leave to assume off times incorrectly. Yes. Yes, you might say that. Mr. Webster says that, Miss uh, Tatum. Fine. Whatever Mr. Webster says. I suggest we take Mr. Webster as the final authority, Miss Tatum. Mm -hmm. Next time I need a word to find, I'll be sure and ask you. Well, I presume you have a warrant. A warrant? No. No, I don't. Interesting. Would you care for a drink, Miss uh, Tatum? Well. If you are. Oh, yes. I find it relaxing at the end of a long day or, or night. What kind? Uh, whatever. Whatever? Whatever you're having. Oh, well, I'm having a little of my own. For my own vineyard, bold, aggressive red, a little nutty, but... Very interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Cheers. No tears. No tears, right. So tell me, Mr. Shroud, how long have you lived in this place? We have owned this place for over 200 years, Miss Tatum. Well, that's quite a long lease. We own the property, Miss Tatum. Oh, yeah, like a uh, King's Grant? Hardly. It was given to us by Indians long before George III and his so-called grants. And what Indians would that be? The Lenny Lenapes. The Lenny Lenape? The Lenny Lenape were a very proud, intelligent, fierce, and brave tribe of Indians. They never lost a battle. Impressive. Hmm. The British thought so. They were taught a lesson. Well, the British learned some lessons from us, too. British were very cruel to the Indians. And they paid a price. And what price is that? The curse of the 13th child. A price that has exacted upon them and this area for over 200 years. Now, what can I do for you? Can't we go to a motel instead? I told you I ain't got money for a motel. This is OK. It's got a good bed. I want our first time to be special, and I don't want anything to spoil it. Come on, Bobby, stop playing. Are you sure you never did it before? Because I don't want to get anything. Never. I swear, never. How about you? 
Maybe I'll just let you find out. I got something to show you. What is it, baby? Is it something sexy? Wait here. Close your eyes. Don't peek. Ready? Turn on some dance music. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Tell me, sir, were you born here? In this very house, Miss Tatum. My ancestors built this house in 1760. It's had a few improvements since then for modern conveniences, but for the most part, it hasn't changed. It's retained its identity, and I like that. I don't like change. Change is the antagonist in all of our lives. Accelerated change in America, I think, is the core of all of our problems. That and big business and excess taxes. Are you a Republican, sir? Hardly. Nor am I a Democrat. I am an iconoclast. And in my vainer moments, I would consider myself a, um, a visionary with no conceptual or disciplinary borders. In other words, I, I'm a student, I study. And what do you study, Mr. Shroud? I study living things, Miss Tatum, all living things, big or small, with one exception, man. Man is the one evil thing, and I do not study man. What do you study? I study things shunned by man. Things like reptiles, things like snakes, things like lizards, things like spiders, things that have been armed by nature and, if you will, by God with lethal defenses. I have great affection for those things. In other words, killers. They have no choice, Miss Tatum. Kill or be killed. I, I would hope there's a higher power, that there would be another dimension to protect them. What dimension is that, sir? Music. Music. Music is a fourth, fourth, a fourth, what did Einstein say? Music was the fourth dimension of science. Yes, fourth dimension of science. And they respond, they love music. It enhances their souls. Well, with all due respect, sir, how do you know that? How do I... How do I know that? How do I know the cobra responds to the, to the charm of the, of the clarinet? How do I know the children respond to music? How do we know response? I've studied responses, animal responses, for over 30 years, Ms. Tatum. Over 30 years. And you speak of poisons, listen to me. There are more poisons in any American city than in any jungle throughout the world. I didn't mean to upset you. Miss Tatum, I must tell you, I have a grave and serious concern about these endangered creatures. And I intend to protect them from anyone, anywhere, Anyway. Bruno? Back in your bottle. It's getting late. I would suggest you consider maybe staying here tonight, Miss Tatum. It's perfectly safe. We have three bedrooms. They all have internal locks, and uh, it is getting dark outside. I worry about the Pine Barrens. It can be very uh, intimidating. 
Well, I accept your offer. Meanwhile, may I introduce you to some of my family? This, of course, is one of my uh, teenagers. And the others are in the um, den napping. Well, come along, Bruno. By the way, do you know of any animal that has a claw like this? What, uh, what does he do when strangers just show up? Pouts. What? He pouts. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Just the music of the woods, music of the woods. Yes, uh, yes. It's, um, it's charming. I'm glad. Well, sleep well, Miss Tatum. Good night.
to Mr. Shroud.
well, well, look what we got here. Look who it is. This is gonna be good. Judgment Day. Roll down your window. It's all right. It's all right. Just relax. Calm down. Is anybody hurt? I got some blankets in the back. What are your names? This is Bobby and I'm Anthony. I know you. You're that Willis kid, aren't you? The devil. We saw the Jersey Devil. You saw the what? The Jersey Devil. They saw the Jersey Devil. <laughs> what do you do, steal your clothes? Hell no, man. I'm not kidding. We really saw him. Yeah? Where'd you see him? Back by the old abandoned trailer. All right, I know where that is. OK, look, I'm going to get you out of this one. And I want you to take her straight home. Straight home, you understand? Then I want to talk to you later, so you go home and stay there. Yeah, sure. Hey, Mr. Sexy Pants. The next time you get that kinky feeling, why don't you take your girl to a hotel, OK? You see? Morning, darling. You get a good night's sleep? Oh, you mean the Bates Motel? <laughs> so what do you think of Old Man Shroud? Weird doesn't even begin to describe it. So why'd you stay? Well, because he asked me to, Ron. All right, come on. We got to get to the coroner's office by 9. Dr. Clark? Hi. Good to see you again. These are my colleagues. This is Ron Gaines from the Forest Service. How you doing? And this is Mitch Morgan from the NYPD. How you doing? I've been expecting you. They told me you were coming. Mm -hmm. And that you were bringing me something interesting. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Where'd you find the other claw? I'll tell you in a minute. Do you have any idea what kind of animal these come from? Not a clue. Can you run some tests, maybe a DNA test? Uh, Cole, you want to come here for a minute? You remember Catherine? Hi. Hi. This is Ron Gaines, Forestry Department, and Mitch Morgan, all the way down, all the way down from New York City. Cole, Mitch Morgan. Yeah. Well, Miss Tatum needs our help identifying these. Cool. What do you want to know? Well, uh, anything you can tell us. In particular, what kind of animal they come from. Can you do that? <laughs> Give me a couple of minutes. I'll tell you what it is, where it comes from, and uh, even the last time it had sex. Well, that's great. So where did you find this other claw? Oh, uh, back at Shroudsburg. Mr. Shroud lied to me when I showed him the first specimen. He said he'd never seen it before. That's odd. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I thought, too. I mean, why lie about something like that? Yeah. What else is he lying about? Yeah. We'll have a little time to wait. Is there anything else I need to see? Body parts. Why am I always working on cases with body parts? I'm going to hang back for a minute. Hey, man, I thought you NYPD guys were supposed to be tough. We are tough, and that has nothing to do with it. I just don't like hospitals, that's all. Matter of fact, you know, I got a better idea. Why don't I take the Bronco and Go to Shroudsburg and 
Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm real interested to see why Mr. Shroud lied to Kate. I want to see what I can find out, okay? Yeah, just watch your back for devils. You don't want to end up like this. Yeah, all the time. By the way, that thing stinks. Look at these marks on the upper torso. This penetration is down to the bone. Hello. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. What? The bone's been dissected. Now, no animal did this. The biggest animal we have around here has uh, claws no longer than three inches. Well, what would that be? A bear. Uh, this is huge. I mean, this cut or tear is almost eight inches long. It had to be done by a very large serrated knife. <laughs> Oh, he's yanked the chain time. Oh, hell, I don't believe this. This can't be right. What's the problem? It says here that your claw is made up of equal parts goat, bat, reptile, and are you ready for this spider and human? I'll run it again. I ran it twice. Run it again. Whatever you say, Doc. I don't believe this. I think these claws are your murder weapon. Uh, are you sure about this? My dear, as long as I've been working here, I've learned one thing. You can't be sure of anything. But these claws fit into the wound perfectly. I think these are your murder weapons. No. No, 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 that can't be. Why can't that be? Because that is the claw that I found at Shroud's. Hey, boss. What? Same results. I ran the partial again and even threw in a seed date for fun. What does it say? It says that both claws are from the same animal. 100% match. And get this, one of those claws is over 200 years old. I think it's time to have a little talk with Mr. Shroud. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. for a minute.
Well, Miss Tatum, I'm surprised to see you back. Why is that, Mr. Shroud? Well, you left so suddenly. That's so unlike you. Well, I have a few more questions for you, sir. Officially this time, I presume? Officially. Once again, have you ever seen this before? It's the confirmed murder weapon, Mr. Shroud. Are you sure you have never seen this before? I found this one in your house, sir. You really shouldn't leave this type of thing lying around, you know. In my house. We have conclusive proof that this is the murder weapon. Did you have a warrant, Miss Tatum? I'll be back with an arrest warrant, if that's the way that you want to play it. Arrest your hopes, Miss Tatum. You have no case. Your case is circumstantial. Mine is positive. You have invaded my home. You've invaded my space. You've impeded my studies. And I suggest, Miss Tatum, that you go back to your black holes of civilization, your goddamn godforsaken city. If the old bastard wants a search warrant, we'll get one. Let's go find Mitch. There's the car. But where is Mitch? Ron! Ron, what is this? Call for backup. You call. That damn thing's out there. I'm gonna kill it. Over here. Okay. 
this looks like Shroud's shirt. Ron. This stops here, this stops now. Ron, be careful. Good boy. Mr. Shroud. Good boy. <laughs> well, Catherine, how would Mr. Webster describe this situation? Hmm? Hmm? Breach of trust, I presume. I trusted you, Catherine. I trusted you, and you violated my trust. How sad. You were so promising. So promising. Not like the others. 
who destroyed everything they touched. Mankind, I hate mankind that is so unkind to all the creatures that I love. No, Catherine, you wanted my secrets. We all have them, you know. They are precious to me. And we also have our demons lurking in our souls to protect those secrets. And my demon is my brother. For 200 years, my legacy, my protector, Bruno, the Jersey Devil. <laughs> never die, not while I'm alive. And now you know my secret. And because you know my secret, it's time. She's all yours, Bruno. the office of the Attorney General. Please leave a message after the tone. Murphy, pick up. You were right. Riley's not insane. The devil is real. It almost killed me three hours ago. We, we were at Shroud's place. There was blood everywhere. Riley shot it and, and it didn't die. It took Shroud. They disappeared. I think, I think they are one and the same. They're coming for us. I know they'll be back. Look, we searched the whole place, and, and there's no sign of Shroud or, or that thing. Now everybody thinks that I'm nuts. I, I need... I, I gotta get to Riley. I have him in protective custody, and, and he and I are the only two who know. It... It got Ron. It got run. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't help him. Vengeance is 
mine. Come on, Riley. I was only trying to save the girl! No! 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 Good boy, Bruno. At any cost, I will protect my creatures. At any cost. For 20 years, he wanted to know my secret. Knowing my secret is the curse. Some things are better left alone, unsought, untouched. Some secrets. You've reached the office of the Attorney General. Please leave a message after the tone. Catherine. Missed you, Catherine. These many weeks. We've gone into the woods. Mankind is so unkind. be hearing from us.
Check the fine, see me confidently blind, through fear of its escape. 